Nerd Theory. What's up, everybody? Brian here with Nerd Theory. Changed my ch uh, channel name to Old Ass Nerd. Thought it was more appropriate because I'm getting gray hair and stuff. But anyway, what we're doing today is normally I would do with these Criterion Barnes and Noble sales. I usually do a video show you what I got, but for some reason I thought it might be kind of neat to um, show you what I got, but also shelve it at the same time. Now, back in the background here, we have the, all the criterions that I have right now. Some people order them by director, some people do it alphabetical, some even do it by color uh, of the spines. I don't do any of that. I'm old school. I just go by number order when it comes to criterions. Alphabetical, that comes with the other stuff, the regular Blu-rays and all that. So, with that being said, let's see what I got with the half-off sale. First off, Lady Eve. Now, this one's been on the list for a very, very long time with Barbara Stanwyck and Henry Fonda uh, back from 1941. This is actually Spine 103. So, with that, now, you'll probably notice on the shelf here, it's a little separated out. I had to do that because I have a lot of these movies coming in right now. I actually had to pull these Columbia Classic sets from the shelves so I actually could make room. Now, I'll probably just, you know, push these back together after it's all said and done. But for the time being, I need to make some space. So next up, this one is another Tarkovsky one, kind of new to the director. I think I, I think it was Mirror is the first one I've seen. I haven't seen Stalker yet. But I was interested in this um, because I saw the remake that was done like years back by Steven Soderbergh that had George Clooney in it. That movie also introduced me to, uh, to Viola Davis as an actress. Uh, so I think it was one of her first films. Uh, but I always wanted to see the original of Solaris. So Solaris, spy number 164, which is right here. By, down by Law and in between, with uh, Ratcatcher next to that one. All right. Now this one, it's a... It's not new to Criterion, but it's a new release because it's the 4K version. This is Rules of the Game, back from 1939. This is the 4K UHD Blu-ray Combo Edition, Spine 216. So even though it already it's new in that sense, it still existed back in the Criterion. That's why it's 216. So 216 would be right here for me between the Cercle Rouge and Richard III. Next up, once again, not new to the collection whatsoever, but Wings of Desire in 4K. Um, I really like this film. I actually really like it too, the remake called City of Angels. It has Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan, which I know it's not, it might sound really weird, but Nicolas Cage, I think, is great in the remake. And I had to see the original one. and I watched it a while back, and I really liked it. So 4K version came out. Not new to the collection at all, just the 4K version of it. Spine 490. Where am I? 490, 490. There we go. Next to Monsoon Wedding and Che by Steven Soderbergh. Next up, The New World, Terrence Malick. Now, I think this is like the last Terrence Malick one that I'm aware of that I needed uh, that came out through Criterion uh, back from 2005. Um, I know Malick's kind of hit or miss with a lot of people. So far, it's been more hit with me than miss personally, but I've never seen A New World. So this is kind of a blind buy, even though I know what it's about and all that. Uh, this is uh, Spine 826, New World. So 826 is actually way over here. And I put that between Dr. Strangelove and the McCabe and Mrs. Miller criteria release. Next up, I know there was a remake of this. And I think maybe Arrow put out the re-release or... I, I think it's a remake. Anyway, Cat People. The, the original one came out in 1942. Uh, not a long movie, about 73 minutes long. Um, but I, I'm i a big sucker for the cover images. Like, I've never seen Cat People. I know what it's about. i just never seen it. But I, a lot of criterion just strikes me. In, and when it strikes me, I'm like, ooh, I should get that and watch that. So, Cat People, a spine, 833. And that is towards the end of this shelf between... The Immortal Story and the DVD version of Blood Simple. Alright, so this is a wife take up. Since we started collecting these things, which was probably about two years ago, she's had her eye on Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, which was written by Ro Roger Ebert back in the 1970s. Uh, Russ Meyer movie. Um, I've never seen it personally. Uh, I've seen Valley of the Dolls. I have Valley of the Dolls here somewhere. 
but I've never seen beyond the Valley of the Dolls, so I'm not 100% sure if one really has anything to do with, the, do with the other or not. Probably doesn't, but with that being said, this is uh, number... Oh, this is NC-17. Good, honey. <laughs> 836. Keeping it interesting. Yeah, there you go. 836. Well, that's 841 down there. Oh, wow. Right next to Decalogue. Oh, and conveniently enough, right after Valley of the Doll. Oh, look how pretty they go together. All right. Next one. We were in an auction on whatnot for this, and we lost it. Um, I was so sad. It was, yeah, Brandy was really sad. But Hedwig and the Angry Itch, back from 2001. Um, once again, one of these movies we had our uh, eye on for a while. Just... Just kind of the striking nature of the uh, cover art on this one. This one is spine number 982. In case you're wondering, yes, we put these in order before we started shooting. So I'm not just being <laughs> lucky getting these. <laughs> 982 went between 1984 and Humanity. Now this one, my wife just picked up. Um, I knew it came out. I don't really have a clue what it's about. It looked like fun. It looks frown land uh, back from 2007. A nightmare transmission from the grungiest depths of the New York in indie underground visceral. Oh, right. Okay. See, oh. it looks like fun. Yeah, it looks like fun. I'll give you that. So there's this one. Um, this is spine 1137, which should be right. Nope, that's not right. 11, 11, 11, 11. Back over this way. He'll find it eventually. Yeah. See, when you get to the newer ones down here, the more in order, you know, the more there are of the numbers. Because look, 1135, 1136, 1137. So we got some in order there. Your fingers are in the way. Your fingers are in the way. There you go. So. I was trying to show what you were talking about. Your hand know, was in the way. Next up, Exotica. Now, I remember being a kid, having the VHS copy, I believe, of Dumb and Dumber. And this is from, was new, from New Line Cinema at the time, or they were released, uh, distributing it. But this trailer was in the front of that, and I remember seeing it all the time because I loved that uh, Dumb and Dumber so much when I was a kid. I still do. Um, but this movie was on there. I'm like, what is this thing? Why am I watching this on this tape? This is not for me because I'm a child. Uh, mm -hmm. But now I'm going <laughs> to go. Uh, I'm going to get into this. Uh, this one came back in yeah, 1994. So this one is. 11.50. Not too far from where you're just at. One was out of place. Hold on. We can't have this. Shenanigans. 11.50. Was that Malcolm X you just moved? Yeah. So it's between Frownland, the one we just put on there, and Lost Highway. Oh. They were perfect to go together. This one, um, I think, is one of the best movies to come so out. So good. Of 2019, uh, Sound of Metal. Um... I just, the if anything, I think the sound design on this movie just speaks louder than any of the words it can say, which that's I'm sure that there's no irony in that. Um, the 4K Blu-ray edition, I think this speaks to me more because of having a sibling who was deaf. Um, it kind of just resonated with me a little bit more than maybe some other people, but I do think this is one of the best movies. And uh, Riz Ahmed, he's a great actor. He chooses great things, great movies to be in. He's great. Uh, this one is 1151. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, we're all right there together. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Next up. Now, for 2023, uh, for July, I like this is probably like everybody's going to pick this up, and that's Thelma and Louise <laughs> in 4K. I think like this is a this is no the go-to, yeah. Yeah, like I've watched a couple of uh, videos already where people seeing people pick up their stuff from Barnes and Noble, and this has always been in all the videos I've seen. So, and this one's not going to be any different. So, Thelma and Louise, Ridley Scott movie, back from 1991, 4K version. This one is Spine 1180, which should be towards the end because it's pretty new release. Yeah, yep, 1180. It's like brand new. Let's change that right there. Right next to Old Inland Empire by David Lynch. Um, out of all the ones that I were picking, I was picking up. I mean, there's a lot of them I wanted, but uh, Petite. You can't see it because of the sticker, but Petite Maman uh, came out. Same director who did um, Woman or what is it, honey? Portrait of a Woman, Woman on, on Fire. Fire. Thank you. Movie I love. Yeah, uh, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Yeah, rather. Okay. 
Uh, this came out in 2021, and apparently I was talking to some people at Barnes & Noble, and apparently this is the director's last one because she's just tired of the studio interference, I guess, or something like that from what I hit. I don't know if that's 100% true. That's just what I heard. Um, but this one, I, you can tell by the trailer where it's going, but um, sometimes I feel like I need to, you know, a good... Uh, feel good, something that gets you right here in the, in the heart, and I think this movie is going to be one of those things, so this one I'm looking forward to. This is 1181. So right next to Thelma and Louise. So this last one of the regular ones that I got, and there's one more I'll show in a second. So uh, excited that, to watch this. The Servant. Um, as long as I've been collecting these criterions, I've been watching other YouTube channels, and everybody probably knows Elliot Cohen by now. Elliot just goes on and on about the servant because he has another copy from another uh, distributor. But um, I started watching kind of the clips of this uh, movie and like the trailer or what could be seen of a kind of trailer, and it's I, I'll admit it's got me it's got me curious. So Elliot, I'm going to trust you on this one. Then again, I've trusted you on other things. You never really let me down, so I'm not too worried about it. So 1182, it's fine. Next to Petite Maman. Exactly. Now, this is the big bamba jamma. <laughs> had to go to Barnes and Noble. Went to Bar Well, obviously, I had to go to Barnes and Noble, but I had to go there and ask them if they actually had this in stock because on the website I said they did. Couldn't find it anywhere. They didn't know what the heck I was talking about. I'm like, let's check in the back. So, the and we looked everywhere on that store. It was nowhere yeah, to be found. The Pasolini collection they found fresh out of the box for us. This is a nine film collection that just came out recently. I'm gonna take it out, kind of show beautiful. you. It's pretty. Kind of looks like something I would see in. Like the way it's like a, uh, what is it, a uh, book, a coffee table book. Yeah, in a way. When yeah, you first it definitely look has it, that. Not. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's really pretty. Very nice, very nice. Nine movies. Got to give Criterion credit; they do beautiful work. Gospel according to Matthew. What was that other one here? Mama Roma. Yep. So got some good ones in here. Love meetings. Some of these I'm not going to pronounce. The <laughs> and the Sparrow. Poor Seal. Sometimes oh. it's, held, it's hard to tell with the cursive, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, it, it's on a little Medea. There's a little, a little bit on the side there. You can see it. But nine films. And then on top of that, you kind of got this huge, kind you know, book. You know, you're, like I say, Criterion is movie 101 for anybody who goes deep into, like, the special features and the books and, you know, all the writings about the movies. So, that is the collection that came out recently that I got. That's going to go somewhere around with my other collection. Yeah, these are these are the box sets we have so far. Yeah. So, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but There are a couple down here, too. Yeah. So, that's what it is right now. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for letting me talk and get everything out there. And uh, we'll be back with more. We've got more uh, Blu-rays on order from other places, not just Barnes & Noble. And we'll... Continue to shelf criterions. With that being said, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, don't like. It's all the same to me. I'm just glad you're here. Take it easy.